In this Planet Zoo video, we are going to be creating a lizard house. It's going to be realistic, it's going to be small, it's going to be quite simple, but very effective. And it's going to provide the perfect surroundings for any of your reptiles. And we started off with this custom wall. You can see I've got an on the grid plaster piece and I'm just adding here in real time now so you can see how I'm doing it. I'm just adding these off the grid plaster pieces of a different colour and this is going to give a tile slash brick look. Um, you can see me leaving a little bit of a gap and this is to make it look more realistic and looks like there's actually filling in between the bricks or the tiles. And I, I make custom walls a lot in my habitats, but this one is so simple to make, but yet so effective. And that is the theme of this habitat I'm creating. It actually didn't take me a lot of time to make this habitat. I smashed it out within a couple of hours, but it's so effective and it looks so good. And I've not spent hours upon hours creating it. You can see it coming together now. All we have to do once we've got one side down is just duplicate it over, line it up, and we can create the whole custom wall and then get this into place and how we want it. You can see I've just added the metal pieces on the top and the bottom as well. I actually end up removing the bottom one and keeping the top one um, and I actually use these metal pieces a lot as well. So yeah, just finishing this off now and then I'll show you how I got it all into place. So I'm fast forwarding now. Now you can see the metal piece is going on the top. I'm going to keep it nice and black as well. But that is the custom wall done. All I have to do is select it all and duplicate it over like you see me doing now and start laying out the plan how I want the main body of this habitat looking. This is going to be an all enclosed habitat. So there's no open spaces. Fresh air getting in is going to have to be by some kind of aircon. But yeah, I wanted it to be like an authentic lizard style house like you would see in you know in a zoo or even in your own homes if you've got like um any kind of lizards or any kind of reptiles in your own home it'll, it'll be like in a, in a glass um building won't it so that's what the kind of effect i wanted to give off here see me just placing the roof now and just lining these up and closing these gaps this is going to be the main runway the main viewing area we're gonna have two viewing areas we're gonna have a large one to the left and we're gonna have this runway which i want to be the main viewing area right in the middle what leads to the privacy bit for the monitors or the lizards or whatever you want i end up putting the asian water monitor which is one of the new animals in the tropical park but any kind of lizard in planet zoo will work with this habitat and look really good with this habitat it's catered for lizards catered for reptiles so yeah, this is going to be the runway. This is going to lead from the inside bit where the animals can get privacy to the outside bit where our guests can view them and they can get well, a little bit more, less privacy, if that makes sense. We're just lining up these stone bricks now and I'm really happy how these walls came out looking. And this is going to be the theme throughout. Every exterior wall you will see will be layered with these kind of, these bricks, these custom walls. See, so we're just duplicating it over now and moving it over. Nice and simple, line it up. Yeah, I wanted I wanted this build to be nice and simple. So maybe you guys at home can follow it along and build it yourself. Now you can see me here just creating, well not creating, just duplicating and moving over this custom backdrop wall. Now these are on my Steam, work, Steam Workshop page. You would have seen towards the left, there was a selection of different ones and there is a selection of different ones on my Steam Workshop page where you have to do click the link in the description it'll take you to my steam workshop page and you can have these in your own backdrops of your own habitats really effective way to get a nice natural looking backdrop just finishing off the back area now again with the custom wall I created and just filling in the gaps and this is going to be this back area the, the the privacy area and then the front again with the floor just plaster pieces just wanted to go simple but effective with every aspect of this building every aspect of this habitat just lowering the grid now and just filling in the gaps and then i thought i've not um, separated from the grid so i did that separated from the grid lowered it down just above height level of where the paths were going to be so the paths don't show and then adding the plaster pieces again where this left um, second main viewing area is going to be this is all going to be full of glass as well which you will see me put in now did play about with a couple of the glass ideas ended up to come with the panes and just placing them in manually i just thought it looks more cleaner it looks more modern it looked more slick um i'm back to the the way i like building the kind of like the modern style here um I, I don't know why i like creating stuff what is modern i just feel more comfortable and everything just seems to fit well and to look good seem to be more comfortable in building this 
I ended up placing the glass at the end and then I thought, no, it just didn't work. So I deleted it. Like I always say with everything I create, come back to it. Have a little look. If you don't like it, just change it. The glass in the middle runway is now going in. Then I played about with the idea of having a plaster roof, as you can see me doing here. And I thought, no, that do not look really good either. So let's delete that and just make it the whole glass as the runway. But yeah, that looks, looks pretty much better. Lining things up. All we have to do is fill in the gaps on this roof and then we're going to fill in the gaps with the black metal pieces what you saw on put me what you saw put me i can't get my words out today i don't know what's wrong with me every time i record a video i muddle my words but let's put the trim on now shall we and the black metal pieces that's what i meant to say so here we are without the black metal pieces and i'm just going to add them look how different it looks this habitat another view here without them and with them it just brings this habitat to life and then I decided to delete the roofs because what I always say, if you want to build something inside, delete the roofs first um, and then build inside and then just replace the roofs. We've already got where we want the roofs to go, so that's nice and simple and everything will just fit in at the end when we put the roofs on. Now, the inside of this, you can see I've created a body of water. I don't think this is going to be enough water for any lizard or any reptile. Um, sandbox mod only, maybe. I would download this on Stone Workshop page. I know it's kind of cheating, but yeah, I don't think this is going to be enough water. At the end of the video, I'll bang in the lizards, the, the uh, Asian water monitors, and then we'll see how they feel about it, see if these, this is enough water. But I don't think it will be because the kite, it's too shallow. Sorry, I'm just hiccuping here and burping. It's too shallow for them to, um, to swim in, really. They can have a little paddle, but that's about it. But that's the look I wanted it to go, and I wanted this to be a more realistic build more than anything. Um, yeah, a lot of rocks. As you can see, I love these four rocks. I use them in everything. Just adding some steam and some bubbles to the actual water and making sure that the water is kind of like a dirty colour. Same with the murky colour of this little water feature I decided to add here. I just thought it looked good coming in between the custom um, backdrop walls of the rock and the foliage here. Just looks good. But yeah, just moving everything into place, having a little water fountain. And then obviously at the top, I thought, well, I need something what looks like the water falls from rather than just coming out of the sky, like, like some kind of god is producing the water. So again, the black metal pieces just finish off this creation perfectly. And then I just delete that one because I really didn't want it there. And then, yeah, it was just time then for me to adjust little things, make sure nothing's poking out of any of the walls on the other side, make sure the actual water fountain jets are hidden within the rocks. And then it was time to add the roof back in and now the inside is complete. But before we do, it's obviously foliage and we go with these tropical kind of like palm trees. I think these are actually out of the aquatic pack and I love them. And what I love doing with them is layering them like you can see me doing here. So having different heights and, and moving them forward just so they look like kind of bush rather than trees. Um, yeah, I just think it just adds a different kind of aspect to any creation. It just looks good on the bank of any kind of like um, body of water, whether it be a river or a pool like this. And it just adds to the aesthetic, the, the whole tropical look and just builds out the area and makes it look, again, a little bit more realistic. Same with just adding the four rocks again on this runway bit. I didn't want it full of four rocks, but most of this inside bit is going to be four rocks. I'm not going to lie. I love it. It just gives that a pebble effect on it. Um, and then obviously we added, I think this is the drink grass and the buffalo grass. And there we go. And then the inside of this, um, again, very basic. Added a little trim so it gives the um, impression that our monitors can't scratch at the walls. Gives them a bit of protection and our inside of a habitat bit of it um, protection. And then just added that gate in there. Obviously it's not a functional gate, it's just for looks. And then the thought, the outside, it just looked a little bit burr. And I thought you wouldn't have... A, a direct glass in a zoo really you're going to get kids banging on the windows like you do in aquariums it's not really nice for the animals i don't think so i thought right add a fence and add a little bit more foliage as well just to bring the outside alive i've got a lot of foliage on the inside but not that much on the outside so that's what i did i just added this mulch and added a, um a kind of like a custom fence again very simple just uses the conservation pieces you can see me getting the archer there just to make sure that everything is at the height i want it and then building up these conservation pieces to make a custom barrier and um, some custom flowers at the side as well played about with different trees and different foliage what i wanted 
I wanted something what fitted, basically. I didn't want something very low, like you see me trying out now. I wanted something tropical, but I wanted something kind of like medium size. You see me trying out loads of different things, and this is what I would suggest you doing until you find the right piece, what just looks perfect. And that's it, the habitat's complete. And just as I'm saying this, you can see one of our lovely monitors just entering the water here, going towards the lovely waterfall. Now, disclaimer, they're not happy. <laughs> or they would be. Actually, I did have doubts, but they are not happy. So let's have a look. So we've got no enrichment. I've left that up to you if you want to download this at the Steam Workshop. You can put your own enrichment items in there. But space-wise, is where we fall. I thought about that water, didn't I? They need to be in water. Um, they're not happy, but it will suit other... I'm thinking, like, maybe dwarf caimans, like a small crocodile, reptile kind of thing. It will suit other animals. I just wanted to put these in to see how they would get on and to see if, um, you know, I could create a habitat for one of the new animals in the tropical park. But the, I'm not going to sit here and lie to you. I'm not that kind of guy. But, yeah, they're not happy. Um, so let's just silently delete these. And, um, yeah, I guess you might want to stay there because you're probably going to end up protesting. So, but, yeah, I'm really happy how this habitat came out looking. Maybe functional-wise, it's not the best. But, again, try different animals in this. This doesn't have to be for the Asian um, water monitors. It can be for other different small animals. Maybe even toy toys and stuff like this will work well. But, yeah, this is it, it complete. I'm really happy with it. I'm happy how it came out looking. I really love the detail on this wall and these um, kind of, like, grid tile pieces i just yeah i'm really happy with it again if you want this on the steam workshop page you can do link is in the description if you're new around here then hit that subscribe button and if you did enjoy this video then hit that like button my name's adam and i will catch you in the next planet zoo video